I'm Emily. I'm Emma. I'm Richard. I'm Mary. I'm Ben, and we're going to show you how our school council works. This is our school in high school. There are 2,000 pupils stretching from year 7 to 13. Because it's so big, it's divided into five halls. There's Arley, Dunham, Morton, Tatton, and Walton, which is my hall. Each hall is run like a mini school, and everybody in the school is part of a hall. Even teachers, dinner ladies, and receptionists. It makes everybody feel part of the school community. Although we are one big school, the halls have very different personalities. We all wear different colour ties, with me being green for Morton. Arlie is keen on recycling paper and do a Collecting Coppers campaign for charity. Dunham likes to enter its students into the local 10k races to raise money for charity. Morton do a healthy eating campaign where we make fruit kebabs and sell them at break. Tatton are the only hall to have a live mascot where they sponsor a tiger in the local zoo. Walton are the organisers of large fundraising events such as a big balloon race. I think the hall system is good because it gives you a sense of unity within a large population. I think if the school was just one big mass of students then there wouldn't be any familiarity people. All the people from different halls can come together and talk to each other and bounce issues off each other. We wanted a whole school council so that the students could have a say in the running of the school and give their opinions on school changes. The council was set up in 1999 from when I was in Year 7. There were 2,000 pupils here at Lim from key stages 3, 4 and 5. Everyone in school is in one of the five halls. Representatives from each year group make up what we call the hall management teams. And representatives from each of the hall management teams make up the whole school council. Basically the hall management committee deals with issues that um, will only affect the hall and the, and the individual key stages of that hall. So for example the hall building, hall events, hall fundraising, um, Christmas, things like that. Um, and the whole school council will perhaps deal with more important issues that might affect the whole school, such as transport, food and um, welfare, things like that. First of all, in a form feedback session, a member of your form will tell you, as, as their form representative, the issue that they want to be dealt with, for example, smoking on buses. You, as a representative of your form, will take that issue to your whole management committee. You will discuss it at that level, and if it's unanimously agreed that it's important enough to go to a higher level, it will then go to the whole school council, where action will be decided there. Mrs Harris, who runs our council, at the start of the year organises a training meeting. She gives us loads of suggestions on how to tackle different problems. Possible solutions for you. This is supposed to be a training session. Right, communication. We have got email, we have got an intranet. How many of the whole teams here use it? Maybe you could look at uh, creating a message board on Frog just for your hall, just for your whole management team. You could change uniform if you had a mind to do it. You could change the uniform. The head is waiting for you to change the uniform. He can't believe that you haven't tried to change it. And he keeps telling heads of hall that when the students can come up with a viable alternative for uniform, he will listen to you. The buses. We have to share buses with Bridgewater. We can't change that, but we can change some aspect of the behaviour on the buses if you work with us. The main problems that we face in the hall management teams are things like communication and attendance because of it. Some halls tackle this problem in different ways. Some ways work, some ways don't. People communicate in school through four different ways. One is through the intranet. The second is through notes in the registers, the third is through the whole assemblies, and the fourth is through word of mouth. The problems that we face with the intranet is the people don't normally see the emails, and they don't normally pick up on them. The problem with the registers is notes sometimes get lost on the way down to the forms. And the problem with the word of mouth, some people can't be found during the day. 
If you use all four of these systems, most of the time the message does get through to ev nearly everyone you want it to get through to. Morton uh, publicises its successes very rarely because by the time we've actually been able to finish a project, people have actually forgotten about it. I think it's important though that in the Hall Assembly that the Hall are told what the management committee are actually doing. At every meeting, the register is taken so we know that who is there and who isn't there. If people aren't at the Hall School or the Hall Council, then they are normally chased up and asked why they weren't there. Liaising with staff on behalf of Morton can be really difficult because you actually have to catch the staff. Sometimes they're so busy that you can't even speak to them, especially the heads or assistant head of hall. Sometimes we do it through delegation, getting a member of the management committee to go and speak to a member of staff and get their views on a certain project that we're maybe initiating at the time. The best way of combating big projects is to cut them down into smaller, little projects. This means that you can tackle the problem bit by bit. There is a more guarantee of success for the big project to be completed with a lot of little tasks. The whole school council meets every six weeks as it gives things more time to occur. It also allows us to go and see our forms and see what they think about the issues. In a school council, everybody in it has a different role to play, such as a chairperson and a secretary who takes down the minutes. These roles will change during the year according to what people want to do. Right, the first item to discuss is the training session which we all went to in the Hexagon last PSE session. So what was everyone's thoughts on that? Was it useful? Is there any way we can make it better? Next we'll go to hall issues for the coming year. You should have discussed this within your hall councils and kind of come up with a list of things that we want to do this year. So. Dunham? I think we discussed the trip to the Trafford Centre again and maybe pairing with Arley for that. And um, we've got your London trip as well. Yeah, the trip to London. Yeah, this is where um, going on. all the issues from the various halls are brought to the stage so we can all discuss them and see what we can enough. do about them. Well, that's it for Martin. Uh, Walton, have we got any feedback? One of the main ones was um, about the price of the healthy food. It's just, it's like with those um, the cans and that drink, that new drinks machine, they're costing tempi more than they did last year. Now we know that they're healthy, but um, things like apple ties, which were 50p last year, are still there now and now 60p. And it's ju it's just about um, lowering the price. People will pay for healthy food, but not so the prices are ridiculous. As far as the cans are concerned, yes, by all means, tackle that. Don't forget, though, that they did try to put them up to 80 pence at the beginning of this year, and we got them to reduce it down to 60 pence. I certainly think that it's worth um, maybe doing a, a whole school complaint um, about that. I certainly yeah, think I've just reported back for one. Back. Not very well, but I have done anyway. We'll <sighs> move on to it. suggest whole school issues. What are we, as a whole school council, hoping to achieve this year? A big project for us <coughs> to work towards. Our form group decided it might be a good idea to implement like a reward scheme for recycling. Right now we're getting ideas for this year where um, we're deciding on big projects that we can all work on together to try and achieve during the year. I mean you've got the uniform, you've got the wet rooms that are whole school issues, your toilets are whole school issues. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the, the water fountain and we do need to know about um, fundraising. We're not discussing the issue with the, the water the fountain, fountain which has been sort of discussed for quite a while. Like we think it's quite a good idea because it means you don't have to go and fill your bottles up and you can just go and drink and straight away, um, no faffing about with water coolers. Mm -hmm. And we'll may maybe invite the heads of hall to the next meeting. Can we minute that, please? Invite the <coughs> heads of hall to the next meeting to discuss having a water fountain. Okay, okay, as you can see on the computer, we've had our notes taken down by two of our council members. Everyone takes them down all through the meetings. So you know what the most important details are that you can discuss about in the future. Do you want to just <coughs> recap on what the actions are that you want? Can you do that? Okay, I've got lots and lots of scribble down things here. So um, the first thing to, for everyone to take back to their um, hall councils was the fundraising about not having non-uniform days. 
just going over the meeting now. Just, it's like a final overview before we all finish, just to make sure we've covered everything. Anything else I want to mention? Any other issues? I think by having a school council you can achieve things that may not actually be brought up if there wasn't a school council. The issue of toilets is always a common feature in the whole school council uh, meetings at the moment. People are saying that they're not clean or hygienic enough, they're not furbished properly, there aren't mirrors or things like that. So the whole school council have pushed for better furbished toilets like the one I'm standing in right now. We've also pushed for a disabled toilet just to make things easier for people. Every year the governors give the school council um, policies to amend or rewrite. Policies such as food and healthy and the healthy school status have been rewritten from scratch in the past year, whereas the policy on substance use and misuse has been changed every year. When a normal teaching vacancy is open in, the, in, the, in this school, um, the whole school council's uh, job is to show them around the school and inform and have a chat with them. However, if a senior placement is available within the school, such as a head of hall or head of key stage, then the whole school council may be asked to conduct an interview. Oh, yeah. and then... When new government laws came in that um, meant that we couldn't serve chips as often, we, we looked for alternatives such as pasta, which we, ser um, which we serve in these as an alternative to a portion of chips. Um, the staff very kindly took it on and they now serve pasta and they have three different varieties each day. Going with our, our stance on recycling as well and the environment, these are also biodegradable. So as well as getting a portion of pasta, it also biodegrades. So we're sort of helping on two different fronts there. This is the shelter that was built to keep the rain off the students as they queued up to, to get into the dinner hall. We raised the money over two years and after that further complications meant that we couldn't actually build it because the building's a grade two listed building. Some people became disillusioned, but in the end, the shelter was built anyway. The housing development next was started last year, although the school was given no official notification. And this is 250 large houses right across the road from our school, and the road just here is only two lanes wide, very very small road. 2,000 people have to come along this road every day, twice a day. Obviously, there's a safety risk with that. Now, what we did as the council is we wrote several letters complaining about this, saying we're opposed to it. We wrote them to the council, to the planning authority, and to the highways agency. And after a number of incidents where we did actually have people in traffic accidents, they actually put up 30 mile an hour signs, as you can see there. They later reduced it to 20, and even though it wasn't enough to stop them, they now know that they weren't welcome here. The major problem we have with buses is that um, people tend to smoke on board them. This is a real problem for people who just want to get home. This is a battle that we are currently not winning at the moment, but we are still fighting. We're trying to make the bus drivers have more responsibility and help the school catch the people who are uh, smoking. So that's how a school council works. Obviously different things work for different schools and different people and every council has to do what's best for its pupils as that's what they're there for. But we hope we've given you some good ideas that maybe you could use yourself anyway.